Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Moon Outdoors. Today, I'm going to give you guys a review of a pressurized water system by the Waterport. This model is called Daypack. Uh, they have three different models. Uh, they have a two gallon model, and this is a Daypack, uh, which, which holds 3.85 gallons. And uh, they also have a weekender which holds 8 gallons. And personal for me, I think 3.85 gallon is plenty enough uh, for my use. And I've been using this for a um, few months now and uh, I like it. I like it. Uh, let me show you guys how this works and uh, give you a review of this pressurized water bottle. So obviously you get this uh, container, uh, the water container. Um, heavy duty. I don't know exactly what kind of plastic it is. I don't know if it's ABS, but uh, it's really thick and heavy duty and it's not super light. And comes with a standard cap. And comes with the uh, little adapter uh, that you fill the water with. And comes with a high pressure nozzle, eight foot hose, uh, and that's about it. I mainly use this for um, kayak fishing. But I wanted something that I can use for camping and uh, other activities as well. So there are a few different uh, companies out there make some kind of a pressurized water tank like this. And uh, I thought this brand uh, would suit me the best because I kind of wanted to get away from um, using a battery. Um, and something that's uh, self-pressurized and something that is durable something has a uh, many different mounting options so this guy right here um, can be mounted on the hitch uh, they have uh, platform mounting they have bar mounting there are a lot of uh, different mounting options out there this tank is really popular among overlanders so they have a truck, uh, their bed is all set up and they can pretty much mount this anywhere on the truck. So um, I don't do overlanding but I might in the future. I have a couple of uh, optional items as well uh, which is a uh, hand pump. Goes in there. In case you cannot fill this with the pressure already pressurized water, uh, you can just simply fill it up and uh, pump it up with your hand uh, to get it pressurized. And I also have a optional uh, nozzle holder, it just goes right there, so you can just simply rest your nozzle here and then turn it on and wash your hands, wash your dishes, whatnot. So before we actually fill this guy up. Uh, let me show you what I used before. So what I used to use is this guy right here. Basically you fill the water and then you pump it and you spray. The, the pressure is not so great. I don't know exactly what pressure this holds but even if you pump it until you cannot pump it anymore, it's not that great. So I also thought about modifying this so it would take a nozzle like this. But at the same time, I really didn't like the capacity on this one. It's two gallons. I find that it's not really enough for my kayak fishing trips. Which means I have to carry another container of water and to refill it and then pump it up again and then I wash my other stuff. For example, I like to wash my reels. Uh, when I'm done uh, fishing because I usually fish in the ocean and then salt water destroys everything and on top of that I like to rinse off all my tackles that I use that will get rusted uh, so I can reuse them you know the hooks and you know fishing tackle is not cheap every item that, get, that potentially got fish slime bilge pump and all the other kayak gears uh, I like to rinse it up because they stink if you don't wash them off and they're gonna stink up your car. And obviously, uh, washing of kayak, rinsing of kayak, I should say, because you use a sponge and, uh, and some water, pressurized water to wash up the fish slimes and fish blood, and so it doesn't stink up your garage. That's why I kind of went away with this guy. From there, since I wanted something more, uh, more water capacity, um, 
I went in with this guy. So you fill the bucket or whatever container you have, or if you have a water container that has a big enough opening, you can put this down and spray it. The problem with this was um, half the time it didn't really work uh, right. My buddy Chovy is a witness. And uh, this requires a battery. And the uh, battery on this one didn't really last long. And sometimes when I forget to charge it, it just doesn't work. The water stream is pretty steady, it's weak, and it's got absolutely no pressure, so I didn't really like this either. So I went online, I did some research, a lot of research, I uh, found three uh, possible uh, the water tank that I wanted to get, and I thought that this guy, the water pour, is going to be worth the best for me. So without further ado, uh, let's go up the tank got the uh, uh, the valve here uh, with the quick quick connect and this is turned on and off so we're gonna start out with the off position here you can either connect the adapter straight to the valve uh, but now I have a hose connected to it so so you're gonna connect your adapter to the end of the hose or straight to the water valve and turn on the water it's on and you got your adapter here it comes with the quick quick connect all you gotta do is just push it in and it clicks and this guy goes in right there and it clicks in just like so and you're gonna turn on the valve one here and one here So typically the household pipes will contain um, anywhere about yeah, 30 to 40, uh, it should uh, contain about 30 to 40 PSI, uh, always uh, pressurized. So it's using that pressure to fill the tank. So once the pressure neutralizes, it's going to stop building the tank. Basically it's self-pressurized, you, you don't need any electricity, you don't need any uh, extra pump. To fill a uh, 3.8, uh, takes no time, takes no more than you're filling a container, regular a bucket with 3.85 gallons of water. So it's already done, takes less than a minute. So when it's filled, you want to shut off this valve and also shut off this valve and shut off the water, of course. And all you got to do is disconnect and you attach your nozzle high pressure nozzle turn the valve by the tank and hose is pressurized and spray so the sprayer has one two three four five different options something with the jet shower mist I don't know if you can see that center and flat so obviously with the jet you're gonna get the most pressure in the shower a little bit less pressure but more water mist center and I like to use the flat the most to rinse up my gear so as you are using the water uh, the pressure is gonna decrease and the water pressure you get from the nozzle is going to decrease over time little by little so towards the end you're going to have very little pressure um, which is fine for me because I never use uh, the all hole uh, 3.8 I always have a little bit of water left towards the end not having a high pressure is really it's really not an issue for me uh, but if you want um, to if you have an optional hand pump this is very convenient right now it's really hard to pump because there's still a lot of pressure in it in there uh, but once you lose the pressure uh, it's much easier to pump if you cannot connect the tank to the uh, the house uh, which is already pressurized you can simply fill you hear the pressure 
so I can simply fill the water here and close it and pump it out. So I find that about 50 pump is gonna give you a decent pressure. But if you don't wanna use the hand pump, so we have a shredder valve, built-in shredder valve here. So you can connect your bicycle pump or a portable electrical pump. And pressurize it this way. And if you want, you can start using it while it's pressurizing at the same time. So I believe they recommend uh, about 30-35 PSI. I actually thought about making one out of a separate tank uh, but uh, you can only go up to like 15 PSI on those ones. So. so with this you can have a higher pressure water. So I got it up to 30 PSI and very good pressure go with the jet. One really very important feature of this uh, water tank is the uh, right there safety relief valve. If you are traveling up the altitude, uh, the more pressure can build up, uh, more than 35, uh, more than 40, it just can build up. So it's got a safety relief valve. The too much pressure gets built, it will automatically trigger it and then relieve, relieve the uh, pressure. That's a really cool feature, so you will never have too much pressure and potentially causing damage to the tank. So how long does the water tank, tank last? So I'm not going to show you the whole time process, but with the jet, it lasts about two minutes of a continuous spray. With the shower, a little bit over uh, two minutes, and uh, I don't really time the miss, it could take forever. So with the center, uh, with the flat, uh, you get about two and a half minutes. So basically anywhere between like two minutes to uh, two and a half minutes, uh, I really find that uh, enough for all my fishing gears and uh, rinsing of the kayak and uh, my buddy's fishing gears as well. So like I said, I've been using this for a few months now and then uh, I absolutely, absolutely love it. I haven't yet to try this at camping, but I think I'm gonna love it. This can be work as a portable shower. You can wash your dishes. I mean, if you go to the beach, you can rinse off your feet. I really like the mounting option. Right now, I didn't really mount it to anything, uh, but, but in the future, if I want to mount it on my truck, I can do that. There are so many different options to mount it, so that's pretty cool. Do I recommend this product? I always like to give you guys my honest uh, opinion, uh, honest review, and uh, I like it. Uh, I do recommend it. I'm not gonna lie, this is a little pricey, but uh, compared to the other brands of a uh, high quality water tank out there, uh, it's actually a pretty good price. I do recommend it. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more and go outside and enjoy the outdoors.